Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about the topic that is, I think, interesting to almost everyone who is starting their computer science journey, starting their engineering coding journey, or they're going to get their first job. And I think that is very important for them is, do you need a MacBook as a software engineer? And what mistakes you should avoid when choosing a laptop? Now, if you don't know me, I'm Famil Samadli. I've been working as a software engineer for the past seven years. I've worked in almost every companies and I've used almost every computer that you can imagine, starting from the computers that normal people use, all the MacBooks, even gaming laptops, and even custom built PCs. Now, the short answer for this question is no, you do not need MacBook at all in your journey, in your whole career. You do not need it. So MacBook, is just most of the time it's just the preference that majority people choose in their software engineering career now the thing is in 2019 that's a fun fact actually the 2019 stack overflow created a survey uh, from all their users and almost majority of the people answered that survey that they're using macbook pro as their main computer for building a projects or in their work life now as i said previously in my worth the MacBook is just majority of the time is the preference because some people like its quality, some people likes the battery life of it, some people likes how they work smoothly between all these, uh, like all the, the time, and how sharp the details are, looks in the in the screen because that is kind of important for software engineer because most of the time you're writing in an IDE and it's sometimes hard to spot a mistake and I think good sharp screen kind of makes it a bit easier but in general absolutely you do not need macbook at all or any macbook and i think what you need is just some decent laptop with some okay memory and okay build quality now in my first early years i actually bought um, a used msi gaming laptop which was like a six hundred dollars and he, i used it for my whole university years it was bit it was it was bit overpowered during my computer science study um, the reason I'm saying is that majority of you probably will not write a very uh, highly GPU based codes because that's a very niche part in the software engineering. Either you're building a 3D games or you're doing some AI work. Other than that, most of the time you do not need a very good GPU at all. But one thing I can recommend you to, to have in the laptop is a good RAM. Now the reason I'm saying this is that it doesn't matter you're you're studying your career as an engineering you're studying or you're actually using that in your work because most of the time software engineering as i said in my previous videos is not about writing the code now writing the code is the easiest part the most of the time you actually have to run both coding id and multiple tabs in your browser now browsers use a lot of memory and ides use a lot of memory too so probably you're going to go between back and forth, checking the YouTube, checking the tutorials, checking, reading some documents, making some uh, research about your coding. So you have to go between these ID and browser. Now, eight gigabyte of RAM for initial stuff is very good. And you can do a lot of the actions very easily, very smoothly. And, uh, but other than that, um, you actually don't have to check for the build quality. You do not actually need a computer that can have very good battery life because most of the time you can just go to a coffee shop and always there will be a socket to put it in or any place you're going probably they can have a socket that you can charge your laptop now from my personal experience why i lose macbook pro is that i work most of the time remotely and for that i need a very good battery life because most of the time i have to travel go somewhere and for that, I might have to be able to open my laptop anywhere and I can easily write my code uh, without using a lot of power, drawing a lot of power from the battery, and it should work smoothly. Now, for these reasons, I mainly use MacBook. Now, some percentages, of course, preference, and some percentages I have to use MacBook because I have worked in general mobile developer and the mobile development xcode is only available in the macbook and for that i have to i had to buy a laptop that's why i had to switch to a lap macbook and um if you really want to buy a macbook i think that's a uh, majority of the time it's just a preference now um, if you like the design if you like how 
good it is then you can just go and buy it easily and uh, you do not have to buy even macbook pro because uh, with m1 chips macbook airs are perfect for you and you can use it for for anything almost and it works perfectly fine it has a good really battery and even refurbished ones are very cheap and you can find around 650 or maybe 700 dollars or even uh, even cheaper you can buy it and i think for for that macbook air for the price ratio quality is very good but other than that probably you will not need a uh, macbook or any other powerful computer because actually in your early days of studying engineering you're not going to have this uh, very powerful codes that you will write probably you'll start with variable definitions to a functions and most of the time you're going to spend your time on either youtube or doing some research in the google and you will touch the ide hardly so for those uh, you can just choose any decent laptop that works fine that's budget friendly and you can continue your journey with it now if you like this video, I also have some video other uploaded in my channel which relates to could you actually be a software engineer or not. I would highly recommend you go check that video too. I think it would be beneficial for you too, considering that you're watching this video and considering that you're starting your engineering journey. Thanks for watching my video.